Hello, journal. Dear journal. Hi, journal. I've... Today... Hello, stranger. I've been thinking a lot about... My dream is to become a writer. Yeah, right! A writer who can't even write. Okay. Find something simple to start with. What did I do today? Today I got up. I had breakfast. I tried watching the telly. That's it. I'm going back to bed. Hi, journal. Another day. Each time I wake up for the tiniest of moments. It... Isn't... True. But then it all comes rushing back. It is true. Looking around my room. Everything reminds me of Gran. Her puzzle box gift from last year. The magic tank we made during the holiday. Our yogurt pot robot. These paints Gran gave me. This pen. Even you. Channel. She is everywhere, and all of it feels broken. Today is Ben's birthday. Dad baked a cake. Mum insisted that I come down and have some. It tasted like... nothing. Everything does. Mum said we need to send out invitations to the funeral. How can she think about that? She's ready to shove Gran into a box like a pet goldfish. Then I stormed off into my room. Later, 
dad came up for some well-meant dad talk. I know you're sad, but it will get better. You'll see. Just give it time. I know he wanted to cheer me up, but he's wrong. University. She won't be there. When I get my first job, she won't be there. If I get married, she won't be there. Even if that's unlikely because... Boys. I prefer cats. Missing Gran already feels so bad. But how could I want that feeling to go away? How could I be fine with Gran being gone? I'm going to have to feel like this forever. Thanks, Pinky. I can't stop crying. Pinky is probably getting fed up with being used as a tissue, but she never leaves my side. I think that means get back to writing your story. Pinky's got a point. I should at least try to write. I can't leave Robin like that. She's as lost. 